What is up guys, it's Brindamaster here and welcome to today's video. If you do enjoy the video then don't forget to drop a like, leave a comment and subscribe and hit all the links up down below to Twitch and Discord. Enjoy the video! Hey guys, welcome to episode 13 of my Iron Man. Lots of good gains this time, done a nice amount of skilling and um, also made a nice amount of progress between PVM ready, got a lot of combat stats up and uh, made myself a bit more of a rounded account. Not too many quests in this one, but um, well, uh, well, let's get into the episode and we'll see what you guys think. So this is pretty much going to be Slayer Task Complete on this one. Yep, there we go, 25 tasks in a row. Um, actually a really good Slayer Task, these um, fungal mages. You get quite a lot of secondaries. I've got a lot of um, potato cactuses, which are actually worth quite a lot. I'm not quite sure what potion they're used for, but they're used for something. Nearly 6k each. Yeah, it's got a lot of secondaries and a couple of seeds, so yeah, pretty good, uh, pretty good Slayer Task. While I'm here, I can also hand in two daily challenges this helped me tick off. So I got a combat one which gives me a combat lamp, and one that gave me 18k Slayer XP, and oh, we're leveled up, so I can now do Spiritual Warriors. Nice, 68 Slayer. Oh, Spiritual Warriors, that could be a nice uh, nice little money maker. So I know this technically isn't any kind of progress on the account, but I was heading down here for something, and I just happened to notice how absolutely epic this whole area around like Port Sarim and Wizard's Tower looks and I just couldn't help myself but do a little cinematic I mean look how cool this looks look amazing it's like the graphics here are a lot of time has been put into these graphics so beginning of the month again that means I can go check my oyster see how much XP or well, not XP we don't get XP from it I suppose we do indirectly what do we get 195k we've got some fetch mere cat scrolls amulet power and some earth rooms I guess those scrolls must be worth a decent amount uh, it's got to be where the value is in that. Nothing else that's worth. Let's just see what they're worth. 12k each. Damn, nice. Unfortunately, I can't sell them, so it's just a bit of value to in sit in the bank, I guess. Right, time to refill it, and we'll come back and check it again next month. Okay, time is up. I've got 91 tiers. Not quite as good as last week, but better than the week before. Let's see what I get. I got there... Like 16k XP. And I leveled up to level 49 thieving. Didn't quite get a second level. I nearly got the second level, but not quite. Yeah, 49 even done. Nice. And that's another cash complete. Let's see how much XP we get for this. 47k, not quite a level up, but I'm 3k away. So I could almost go finish that off now and uh, make my next cash give me some more XP. Okay, a couple more for siphons, and then this should be level 82 divination. I'm going to carry on here because well, I'm here now. I'm going to finish off my 15 minutes of the boost I had from the cash. So I might as well because I'm here. Um, and see if I can start making a bit of progress towards 83. Probably not a massive amount, but you know, it'll be more than not doing any progress at all. Just remember back in the days when you actually had to do divination like this. I had to do it on my main all the way to 99 before caches were a thing. It was horrible. It was really, really not nice. I'm just so glad for caches now. Okay, about to hit level 70 farming. Ooh, that's another skill, over level 70. Uh, my stats are starting to look pretty nice now. Unlocked poison, ivy bush. I can collect master farmer snag fragments and something else which I missed. We'll click on it. Let's have a look. Uh, and you can now grow Devil Snare. Okay, nice, cool. There's nothing particularly useful there, but you know, it's never level. Level 70 looks quite nice. Who would have known that I would have got my mining daily challenge from mining this? Like, I didn't think this would count towards a mining daily. You never know. Anyway, 100% approval rating. Time to go claim it and see what I got. So, it's been a long time since I claimed this. Well, actually not that long. Like, a week and two days. But I'm also completely forgot about my kingdom, so, you know, we'll collect it. And this is probably going to be my biggest claim ever so far on this. So, let's see what we get. We have got 1.5 mil in there, which is, is pretty good. I'll take that. It's quite a lot of herbs. Uh, so we've got six nests, 2.1k mahogany logs, uh, junk seeds, so they don't really count for much. Quite a lot of the herbs are junk herbs, but I've got some ranars, some abentos, a few dwarf weeds, and some irrits. Um, but yeah, we've got a lot of taramins and harlanders and stuff like that, but most of them are pretty good, which is awesome. So that's another 1.5 mil in the bank and another chunk of construction XP that has been banked. Um, although I do need to try and turn them all into planks at some point, which is going to be pretty horrible. Okay, so it's another day, another time to check my trapper. I really just need a matching chinchompa. That's all I want. And I got a chicken. Brilliant. Okay, well, a chicken's not what I needed, but you know, it's some beans, so let's send him back off. So at least I can get some beans back from this and we'll grow them up and see what we get. So, I don't know how any of you Ironmen make your planks, but if you could leave it in a comment down below, that'd be absolutely amazing. But this is, like, the best way I've managed to find so far. I don't know if, like, there is a better way. So, like, he's just gonna, like, kick off that white wear, so it forces me to bank so I can get more out. 
but like this seems like a very long winded way of making um, planks. I mean, once I can make the plank maker with invention, that would be amazing, but like for now, is this, is this really, is this really the way I have to make all my planks? This is, uh, this is pretty painful if I'm honest with you. Just for us, forgot to hand in my daily challenges. So let's hand them in now. I don't think I'm going to get any levels up from them, but it should be some nice XP there. Both my higher skills. 34k divination, 33k mining. Uh, put me pretty close on mining, and then we're near on divination. Sweet. Didn't get any levels, but you know, decent XP as always. So that's daily Herbie Werby done, or weekly Herbie Werby done, sorry. I got myself like 20 something k XP from that, which is pretty good considering it's a free weekly DD. Um, means I'm going to almost be able to get to 69 herbal today just from dailies, which is pretty mental. So I'm just doing my daily jack trade Zora, pretty close to a woodcutting level, so I figured I might as well go ahead and level it up. There we go, 58 woodcutting. And so now if we remove this, I've got all 15 of my uh, things, so I can go hand it in and get a reward book. Won't get a level up from this, but it's going to put me pretty damn close to level 69 herb law. There is 9.1k. And um, yeah, so I'm only 15k away from 69 herb law now, which is pretty amazing. Okay, so just hiring myself a demon butler. Awesome. Uh, so now I can go to my house and actually start construction properly. Hey, first construction level, 54 construction coming in. Uh, let's go fetch some more mahogany planks. Hey, 55 construction, another level in. That was literally like two minutes after that first level. Another two minutes later, another construction level, 56 construction, do I unlock anything? Uh, I unlock quite a lot actually, nothing particularly useful, but I do unlock quite a lot. 57 construction, another level, another construction level, level 58 coming in, what do I unlock this time? Uh, nothing particularly useful again I don't think, nope. Another level, 59 construction, one more away from my target of 60, let's hope I've got enough planks left in the bank to do it. I judged that perfectly, I'm literally about to run out of my teak planks and there we go, 60 construction. Uh, unfortunately I'm going to have to go make a couple more mahogany planks before I can go make my large pens but you know, we're nearly there. Big moment on the account, I can finally build a large paddock which means I can put in some cows, I've only got two here, I should have got three. Uh, two female ones, I might get a male one just in case they are, oh that is a pretty bad animation there. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to get a, go buy a male one quickly, just in case when I come to sell them, it turns out they sell for a loss, like bean spies, in which case I'll chuck them in the breeding pen and um, just breed them for now. Okay, so they're pretty simple, they eat woad leaves, um, which is pretty sweet, nice easy, and um, yeah, so I filled that up and we'll come back and check and see how much XP we get from them, hopefully it's a good amount. Time for the daily test of what has the tracker guy bought for me today. Probably nothing good, but hopefully... Nope, yep, it's a rabbit. It's a rabbit. Send him off. We need chin chompers, not rabbits. I need a breeding pair of chin chompers. God damn it. Okay, well, that's tears of Guffix done. Got 96, nearly 100, which is pretty good. So it's going to be... Ooh, 17.5k XP in fletching. Putting me up to level 50. Nice, that's pretty good. I can fletch them in there. I saw something drop down. What is it? Uh, maple short bows. Uh, yeah, nice, cool. Well, that's a bit of fletching next to be done, I suppose. So this is the first hidey hole on my account. That, oh, I've done three. I guess the others are for medium ones. So I need to fill it after I've done this. Let's let's open it up. Let's pop them open. What are we getting? Black cavalier and a couple of mystic staffs and some salvage. I'm gonna keep that. It's a fortunate component. I'm guessing that's a fortunate component anyway from the value. Um, so yeah, nice. Oh my god, I nearly missed that, forgot to record it. Level 69 range. One more level until I can use my crystal bow, which I am very excited about. Whee! 69 Slayer from the same task as before. Uh, 20 more to go. Nice. Don't think I unlock anything with level 69. Uh, nope. Oh, it's a requirement for Mighty Fool, but that's about it. Whee! 70 range, coming in. Can now use a Dark Bow if I had one. Crystal Weaponry and Carol's Crossbow. Most importantly, I can go use my crystal bow now, which is absolutely awesome. So yeah, level 70 range. We level 71 range, another level. Getting closer to being able to use my tier 75, which is nice. Level 72 range. Um, didn't unlock anything of note, but you know, one step closer to being able to use my vanquish. Level 73 range, unlock mercenary gloves. Nothing else particularly useful, but it's another range level. Level 62 
Dungeoneering coming in. Unlocked Ring of Vigor, I think that was then. Nice. 74 range. One more level until I can use my Vanquish for range, which is absolutely epic. Um, should come pretty quickly now. We're doing a bit of ED3. That's level 79 hit points and 102 combat. Nice. 75 range. I'm going to crossbows. And most importantly for me, it means I can uh, use my Vanquish now for range, which is awesome. I got, I got the range pet. Sparky the range pet. No way. I'm like 75 range. That's amazing. I can't believe that. Sick. That's like my fourth or fifth pet on this account. Oh, wow, that's amazing. Level 80 hit points coming in. Another thing, I can now use Torva and Virtus and Pernix. I don't have any of those, and I'm not going to for a long time. But if I did, I could use them now. Nice. Level 70 strength. I can now use a Dark Grey Tax and all the Barrow stuff, which I haven't got. But it's okay, because I've got a Necronium Grey Tax instead. And that does pretty much the same job for me. Level 77 attack. Another one in the bag. We there we go, level 80 attack, I can I use Bane Weaponry, I haven't got any yet, but I can use it, which is awesome. Time to hand in the Prayer Daily Challenge, should be a decent amount for this, don't know if I'll level me, oh it does level me, level 58, only just leveled me though. Uh, don't think I unlock anything of use there, nah, nothing really, but you know, it's another level. Right, Trapper is back, what does he have for me now? Let's have a collect, I definitely misclicked and went all the way around there. Let's have a look, what's he got? Is it going to be a Chinchompa? <gasps> it's a Chinchompa, oh my god. I think it's a male one I need. Please be a male, please be a male, please be a male. Oh, I think I've got, I think that's the pair. I actually think that's the pair. Let's have a look. Uh, Chin... They're female, yep. I've got, yes, I've got my pair of Chinchompas, nice. Uh, and it's a Crimson one as well, which I think is, is that a red Chinchompa? Or I think that might be a Skill Chompa still. I'm not sure, it's one of the two. Yes, got my breeding pair of chin chompers, that's awesome. And this should be level 71 farming. I'm not sure. Wait for I end this. There we go, 71 farming. Nice. And uh, I can go trade these all in. I can breed yaks. I haven't got a second yak yet, so I can't uh, get an actual breeding pair. But I guess I can grow my one yak that I've got. That's it, it's a big moment here. It is time to say goodbye to my full set of Necronium. Turn it into a... Uh, burial set which is somewhere it went somewhere I'm gonna get 50k XP for this and uh, I don't want to smith that okay I guess I'm gonna have to smith the rest of these first and then I'll be able to get level um, 80 uh, smithing done I missed the actual level up but here it is level 80 all the levels I can need for bring for extinction not particularly important to me uh, what I need for invention, which is important, all I need now is to get the crafting requirement, which is what I've been holding off on doing is mining the crafting so I could get a Bayonite pickaxe and mine it a bit better, obviously. Um, and I've also unlocked being able to smith Bane, which means I can now make myself some Bane armor and some Bane weapons, which is like the gateway here. I should be able to now start doing stuff like Vindicta and definitely be able to do God Wars Dungeon 1 quite easily. Um, I won't be able to do Vindicta particularly effectively at the moment, but I mean, even if I get one kill, telly out, go back with a PBM hub, it's pretty quick to get back now, so I should be able to start doing Vindicta, and it's basically, it's a massive, massive achievement on the way to being able to start doing PBM, and I'm really, really happy with it. So, um, that's where I'm going to round up this episode. Um, I had to hold it off a little bit just to get this last level 80 in, and I'm going to go and start making myself some Baynite gear now, which is absolutely awesome. And I cannot wait to start being out of PBM. So I hope you did enjoy the episode. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for all my future content. Until next time, guys, see ya.